That's not supposed to be there. So here's the story. Last time I used this planer for a big project was when I built those shelves for my son's closet not that long ago. And at the time I had these 12 inch wide, eight foot long pine boards and I planed five of them down to three quarters of an inch, which basically means I turned 25% of those boards into shavings in my dust collector. It performed fine. And then uh, just a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago now, I was just planing one piece of maple and I'm feeding it through this planer and I'm, I'm getting, there's, there's like, there's dust coming out of this little port here. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. How, how, did, how did sawdust get in that? But I'm in a shop, oh well. I pulled out the shop vac and I vacuumed it out, cleaned it up, and then I continued on my merry way and it still felt like there was just chips flying where they shouldn't be flying, coming, coming out the bottom, and it was just seemed excessively dirty that nor normally, you know, like everything goes down the pipe. And I'm like, okay, you know, stop, figure out what's going on. So I stopped, unplugged everything, I opened the cover, and it was packed. Like, up to here was just packed with pine shavings. I was beyond shocked. I mean, I, I checked the pipe here. There's no obstruction. I, I, I took off the dust shroud and I'm looking into the fan. It was fine. I'm like the dust collector, when I, when I had done that project, I had filled the dust collector bag basically full of pine shavings. I, I'm like, where did this come from? I mean, this, these, 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 you know, these DeWalt planers are known for having an internal blower. They're really good at blowing out dust, I thought. And you know, I just, I grabbed the dust collector pipe and I stuck it in here and I cleaned it all out and I started planing again and it was still messy. And I'm like, okay, stop, opened it up again. And I was, I had my shop vac in one hand. I had the air hose in the other hand and I'm blowing into every corner, sucking everything out. I got an old toothbrush and I was cleaning the, the, the chain for the, for the height adjustment. I was cleaning all the dust off of that, cleaned it all off. And then I got it working again and whew, what a relief. And then I'm like, why didn't you pick up a camera? <laughs> it's like, you're doing this YouTube thing. You've got pictures on Instagram. And I was just caught up in the moment of cleaning it up and fixing it and figuring out what's going on. Totally forgot to stick a camera in it. So I thought I wanted to tell the story, but first I wanna try and duplicate things. So I have one pine board left. I bought six pine boards. When I was building that shelf, I bought one extra. And so the ugliest one, it's got all these knots in it, is the one I left as my spare. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't really need any pine right now. I, I really should just leave it rough, but I really wanna know if it's gonna do it again. <laughs> so I'm going to, uh, fire this up and I'm going to run this through the planer a few times and then I'm going to open the planer up and it's kind of weird. Part of me is hoping that it's going to be full of shavings because I will use that for the opening shot of this video. I am also going to double check, make sure that all my other blast gates are closed. So it's only sucking through the one blast gate. Okay, I tried to get some close-up shots showing the dust going through the pipe. It's translucent, I can see it. I'm just not sure. I tried with the light behind it and I just tried with focusing. I mean, I, I can definitely see it going through. I hope the camera could pick it up. I don't actually remember how much was in the bag when we started this. There wasn't that much. Here's all the sawdust from that planing. Certainly a significant amount of planing, but just one board this time, not five. So yeah. I'm putting it off. Let's see. Uh, 
unplug it first. <laughs> That's not supposed to be there. So yeah, it's not full, but this was only one board. There's definitely here. Let's uh, get the dust shroud out of the way. I want to collect this. Now you can definitely see here, there is plenty of sawdust that is not getting picked up. Yes, I do have it unplugged. Not getting picked up. It's just blowing past the shroud. Fascinating. So I pulled out my uh, bucket cyclone and I emptied the bucket. I know it doesn't really matter. I'm just curious to find out how much sawdust got missed. Okay, and yeah. I'd say I'm not gonna measure or weigh that or anything, but that's a good three to four cups. Um, yeah, let's call it three cups, three cups of sawdust mist. So yeah, interesting. I think the moral, <laughs> I mean, the moral of the story is uh, it, it may have a 13 inch capacity, but it's at least this one, maybe there's something wrong with my planer can't handle doing, you know, 12 inch wide boards over and over and over. It's going to miss something. I mean, the dust shroud fits nice and snug, so. So really, that's it. I thought it was an interesting story. I hope you enjoyed it. I guess you got to open your planer every now and then and give it a good cleaning. We'll see you on the next one.